Hello there, and welcome to the first and hopefully the last CBS lockdown video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. This time I'm going to talk to you about this, our little modular wiring system, which is a great way to manufacture a custom loom for your vehicle. So here we have a four bay housing fitted with four individual modules. This one is a 20 fuse mini fuse module. Uh, there's a six micro relay module here next. There's two relays in this next one. It's a 30 amp standard relay and a flasher relay. And in the end one here, there are six maxi fuses. And you can see the back, obviously not wired, but the terminals are in there. So let's take a look at each part individually. Starting with the housings, here's a five bay housing, four mounting feet. This one sits probably 25 mil from the mounting surface and also available is a lid for it which just clips on like that and here's the four bay housing and the feet on this one are flush with the underside of the housing so you may need to stand it off your mounting surface by making a few pillars whatever length you like and here's its lid on the inside of each housing there's two little molded spring clips that hold the modules into place so just push the module in from below and it clips into place and you can use just a little screwdriver to release each spring clip that's holding the module and the module then will just fall out. Now there is no three bay housing but if you want to join two modules together you can get these pair of feet which accept two modules and just clip in and there's also a lid and likewise there's a pair of feet for a single module just clip on and again there's a lid And there's a whole range of terminals which all push into the modules from below connecting to each component above but I'll go through that a little bit more as we discuss each module. These two pages of our catalogue list every component in our modular system. The listing for each module will tell you which terminals are suitable for that particular module and the terminals are down this column here. Okay, here's the range of seven clip-in modules that we keep in stock. This one is a mini fuse module, 20 fuses, two rows of 10. This one has six mini fuses and four micro relays. This one, 10 mini fuses and a heavy duty relay. This one, a standard relay and a heavy duty relay. This one, two standard relays. This one, six micro relays, and this one will accept six maxi fuses. Here's the 20 way mini fuse module, and it's uh, fully loaded with mini fuses. All these uh, different ampage fuses are available in our catalogue. Just going to put the last one in here. And here's the bare module. And the fuses go in this side in two rows and the terminals go on this side in four rows 
The terminals are available in strips of 10, like this one here, or individually, like these two here, in different wire sizes. So you can insert a whole strip of 10 down one side of the fuse row to act as a buzz bar. So if you solder a wire anywhere along these terminals, that will be a live feed to this bank of fuses. Or you can cut it in half uh, and have two separate buzz bars, two different feeds, five fuses there, five fuses there, or any combination. And then the other side of the fuses, you put your individual terminals, push them down in, and then take a wire from each of those off to each relevant circuit. And when you've inserted all your terminals, these little yellow plastic strips can slide into these rectangular holes and push all the way through. And they're quite stiff and they take a bit of getting in, but that will retain all the terminals so that they don't push out as you push the fuses in. Here's the module that will take six mini fuses and four micro relays. The mini fuses, exactly the same as before. Terminals push in from the back and you get these little plastic strips, again, that slot in and retain the terminals. Micro relays, as the name suggests, are just smaller versions of regular relays. They come in two types. This one here is a regular, normally open, standard relay. And this one is a changeover relay. You can see this one has two terminals there. And this one has three for the changeover. But they have five millimeter terminals, two here and three here, and six 0.5 millimeter terminals, two there and two there on this one. So you need to select and order the correct terminals for your choice of relays. Each of these four relay holders will accept either a changeover or a standard relay. There are the three 5 mil terminal holes and there are the two 6.5s. And the terminals go in from the back as usual. And once the terminals are inserted, you just press this little yellow retaining clip, which holds the terminals in place. So they don't push out when you insert the relay. This one has 10 mini fuses and a heavy duty relay base. Here's a 70 amp heavy duty relay. And you can see that it has two 9.5 millimeter terminals and two 6.5. And the base will accept two 6.5 terminals and two 9.5 terminals, again, from the back. And once they're inserted, again, clip in the yellow base to retain the terminals and fit your relay. Two standard relays in this one. Again, use any combination of the terminals. Now all the terminals on this module are 6.5 millimeter. So you only need to order two terminals if you're gonna fit this two terminal flasher relay, or five if you're gonna fit this 30 amp changeover relay. six micro relays and finally here's the module that will accept six of these maxi fuses the positive supply is already installed so there's a buzz bar feeding supply to all the fuses and the terminals are already in there and it all connects to this m8 stud to which you can connect a ring terminal and a direct supply from your battery. You need to select six output terminals to go to your circuits from this range of three depending on the current capacity 
and the wire diameter. There's a smaller wire, medium wire and a heavy duty wire. And they just push in from the back as usual. And just a quick reminder how to use our crimping tool. CRP TL2 is the part number. You can see I've cut back the insulation on this cable. And I'm crimping the copper. And now the insulation. You'll notice that the terminals on this maxi fuse module have a little raised retaining pressing here on one side. And if you look down into the receptacle for the terminal on the module, you see this little molded plastic retaining spring. So when you push your terminal into the module, you put the retaining divot on one side and you can hear it click and that's how it's retained. And when you've inserted all your cables and terminals you can put on this little clip-on cover to keep it all neat and tidy. There you go, hope that was useful. See you soon.